This video introduces the assistant which is built and will be clinically evaluated as part of the Rosimas EU project. We will look at both the hardware components as well as the software functionality. So this is the assistant uh, rack. It consists of an ultrasonic scanner uh, with embedded uh, electromagnetic tracking of both the uh, ultrasound probe as well as the needle. In addition, we have the assistant computer, uh, sharing of the monitor as well as the keyboard and uh, trackpad and a switch so that we can uh, toggle between the assistant and the ultrasound uh, system. So now we will uh, show how to start the system. So the first thing we have to do is to boot up the ultrasound scanner. We do that by hitting this button. Uh, while waiting for the scanner to start up, uh, we also boot the assistant computer by hitting this button. Before starting, make sure that the scanner is in uh, research mode. We do that by hitting this button. In order to go to the assistant, you hit the uh, switch. And uh, the light on the right side turns red. And you are in the assistant. And then we start the assistant by hitting uh, this icon. And the assistant is ready for use. So here we see the graphical user interface of the assistant. At the top we have uh, five buttons. To the right we have the record button where we can record everything. Uh, then we have two buttons, right and left leg, where we toggle between the legs that are scanned. Uh, we can uh, turn on and off the assistant uh, software. So if it's off, we just show the awesome image. If it's on, uh, we have the assistant uh, software going. Uh, at the end, we, when we are finished, we can quit the assistant. This is how the setup looks. Uh, the assistant uh, machine, an ultrasound scanner, is on the left side of the patient. Uh, the operator should be uh, sitting next to the patient, looking towards the head of the patient. For scanning of the right leg, uh, the operator sits on the left side of the patient and it's important to make sure that the right leg is selected in the assistant window. Next, the electromagnetic tracker seen here should be placed uh, above the femoral region of the right leg. For scanning the left leg of the patient, the uh, setup looks like this. The uh, operator sits at the right side and it's important that the ultrasound machine is put closely to the table so that the uh, electromagnetic tracking reaches the left leg. And it's important again to have the left leg selected like this in the assistant. The next the electromagnetic tracking should be placed over the femoral region of the left leg. First, put gel on the probe. Uh, the ultrasound probe should be placed on the patient so that the uh, L 
uh, on the brow mark there and points to the left side of the patient and the R points to the right side of the patient so that this ultrasound mark which you see here is on the left side of the patient then place the probe on the patient in front of the truck when scanning has started, neither the tracker nor the probe should be moved. If something do moves or if the user need to reset the system for some other reason, just lift the probe and place it back on the patient. After placing the probe on the patient, move the probe to locate the artery. The assistant will automatically identify the artery and reconstruct it in 3D as shown here. After the artery has been identified, uh, move the probe as indicated by the system, both with a text message and the green bar, uh, which here is on top of the image, telling the user to move the probe upwards on the patient. Uh, a green bar on the bottom of the image tells the operator to move the probe down on the patient, as shown here. When the green transparent probe shows in the 3D view, move the probe to align it with the green transparent probe. After the target area has been reached, the nerve and fascias will appear in the ultrasound image. We will now compare the assistant to an expert. The experienced anesthesiologist was asked to put the probe where he normally would, scan down to the bifurcation and up to the iguanal ligament, and end up in a probe position where he would insert the needle. The data was acquired a long time ago without any assistance. When the assistant functionality became available, the pre-recorded data was run through the assistant software and the result we can see here. The probe positioning of the expert matches quite well with the green ghost probe of the assistant. We will now show an example where a novice user was asked to use the tools provided by the assistant in order to uh, arrive at the right probe location. The user is first asked to locate the artery, then to uh, move the probe upwards and we can see that the green ghost probe appears. The user is asked to align the probe with the green one and we can see that the match is quite good. So the assumption is that if the assistant agrees with the expert and a novice are able to use the tools provided by the assistant, the assistant has the potential to give a novice close to expert performance.